Hey there, this is Brian Terrian with a tip that could speed up your social security disability approval process. And it involves contacting your representative or senator. So I'm going to go through some tips with you and then at the end of this you're going to hear a real life story, success story, uh, from one of our members. So here's your tips. Uh, first of all, before you pursue this, prepare a one minute or less statement as to why you need help. That would really uh, get somebody's attention. So that could be something like you can't afford the basics like uh, food or electricity. Uh, you're not able to afford your treatment. Um, you're not able to afford your housing and especially if you have children under 18 are some key reasons so just uh, collect your thoughts on that and also mention how much time you've been waiting so he here's a generic example that I put together for you and you're gonna use this when you get on the phone with your representative congressman etc say listen I, I've applied for my disability uh, 10 months ago I've been denied my Social Security disability benefits and I just don't know where to turn and wanted to contact your office to see if I could get some help. I'm not able to sit for 10 minutes. I'm not able to stand for 15 minutes or more. Uh, I just can't sleep more than three hours a night. I'm so tired every day. I just can't remember even repetitive tasks. There's just no way, no way I could work. Um, and I'm seeing doctors have extensive medical and despite all that I've been denied financially so if there's any way you could help me and my family I would certainly appreciate it so a statement like that so once you have that prepared you want to contact your local senator or representative and this number that it's going to split that's up on the screen now uh, the 202-224-3121 rings right into the White House and it works. They pick up the phone. You just say, listen, I'm looking for the local uh, senator representative in my area. Um, I called it and they gave me Peter Watts's office and they even transferred me. So I know it works. So um, this segment of the video is going to end and then you're going to next listen to Greg James's experience of doing this very step and what it did for his application. So enjoy that. Thanks for listening. This, this has been Brian Terrian, and if uh, this works for you or you have some feedback after you've listened to the next segment of this that's coming right up next, just uh, join us in the comments. Hope you find this helpful. This has been Brian Terrian. Hang on. Here comes the next segment. Is this Greg James? I hope so. It is, and I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Carrion. How you been, man? Oh, I'm doing all right. How about you? Ah, oh, things are good. Yeah. Things are good. <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah, I just thought I'd check in with you, man, see what's going on, anything we might be able to help you out with now you've made it through the arduous task of getting disability approved. Oh, it sure was a, sure was a relief getting that over with. You know, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you totally beat the odds. You know that. I really did. You know, and you know, I don't. I don't know if I ever told you the whole story, but uh, uh, probably the reason I did was because I made so much, made so much noise. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you know, I, I uh, after they rejected me that first time, first time around, and I went back on reconsideration. Uh, I sent emails to every representative I had. Mm. And uh, my state representative was the only one that stepped up to bat, and he immediately called uh, disability determination and said, what's going on? And they mm -hmm. immediately called me up and said, Mr. James, what can we do for you? <laughs> and, that's uh, that's they, the first time I've heard that to be effective like that. Really? Yeah. It, it, sure, it sure worked. Now, I, now I talked to that lady. The lady that called me up was the... Uh, the head of the determination there in Texas, and I told her everything that was going on, and, and she, she just told me, she said, look, she said, I'm setting you up with your own representative, and she said, we're, we're setting you up with a special needs case, and 
uh, I'm calling. I'm calling Craig Estes back as soon as we get off the phone. Let him know what we're doing. And, and apparently, apparently, I I rattled enough cages. Uh, my my uh, federal representative. I mean, everybody else come back and said, "Oh, we can't help you yet." You know. In other words, when you know when you get rejected again, call us back and we might help you. Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. I was really impressed that he stepped up and did it, and and it made that much difference. Wow! You know, so wow! That's great. The good Lord took care of him. That's all I can say. I don't just, deserve it. Justin, justice prevailed. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. It still it still took a little bit of time, you know. And and the interesting thing about it was, is I remember that first uh, that first uh, meeting with the doctor. You know, I could pretty much tell they were going to reject me. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, then they then they set me up with four different uh, doctors to meet with, and uh, the cardiologist. I could see that was a you know that was a I didn't know what to take out of it. It was a, ra a rubber stamp, and he didn't do what he was supposed to do. But I think the decision had already been made. And, and mm -hmm. uh, when I went back to the same doctor that they, they sent me to before, his demeanor was totally different. And the questions he asked were different, and the time he spent with me was different. It was just it was totally different. So. 